Welcome viewers to Softidemy, a product control and engineering software academy. Today I come up with a new content and that content is based on detecting and fixing dangling activities in Primavera P6 time schedule. So first we will understand what are the dangling activities. Dangling activities are a type of open-ended activities that has a predecessor and a successor but still dangle from at least one end. There are two types of dangling activities, dangling start activities and dangling finish activities. What are dangling start activities? Uh, a dangling start activity is an activity with a start and that is not governed by its predecessor relationship. It could have a relationship with its successor such as start to start or start to finish. But it still dangle because no activity in the network control its start. Dangling finish activities or dangling finish activity is an activity with us finish end that is not bound by its successor relationship. It could have a relationship with its predecessor such as finish to finish or start to finish but is still dangling because it can finish anytime without affecting other activities in the network. What are the impact of dangling activities? Dangling activities can significantly impact the Primavera P6 time schedule of a project in leading to inaccuracies that can potentially result in wrong critical paths and inaccurate milestone and completion dates. Delay or expedition of a dangling end will not impact the project because it is not linked to the workflow sequence which can lead to fake results of the expected project completion date or project critical path. First of all, I will see here two milestone I have created one is start and one is finish and I have assigned start milestone here and finish milestone here then I have created here the activity is B dangling start activity is B here B1 okay so in first example where dangling start activity have an activity B dangling so you can see here in its predecessor, there is finish to finish relationship. It's open ended, but it's dangling. It's have predecessor, but it's still dangling. When you will go in the report in log, so you will find that it have a relationship, but still it's dangling. So in start uh, activity dangling, the previous relationship like in predecessor activities the network will be break down and in start the activities duration will be increased and there will be no impact on the schedule it's in the easy word you can understand dangling start activity so how can you resolve this one you will just assign a start to start relationship with it so i will show you the tool which can gather from thousand activities what are your dangling and how to resolve that one so i will show you also the tool and now I will discuss with you about dangling finish activity. Here the dangling finish activity is E. How it's E in the successor there is a start to start relationship. So if we increase uh, the duration of this activity, for example, I increase the duration of activity to 10. Now, did you see here when I increase the duration? So it's upcoming successor activities do not have a link with it. So in finish dangling, or finish dangling finish activity whenever you increase the duration you can write any duration in its predecessor have a critical path but maybe it's possible that uh, your duration is like uh, increased there is be no impact on uh, your network path this is network path now this is network path 29 of may it's uh, the next upcoming successor activity which is 29 of May and then 29 of May impacting on finish milestone. Do not see this one finish date because this finish date is decided from the below activities and WBS. So finish milestone have been linked with this uh, this uh, F activity F. So activity F when we go to F, activity F. So you will see here 29 March in finish and 31 March it's ahead. So whenever we have a finish activity dangling. So we uh, do not have an impact on uh, 
successor activity. So we have to remove both dangling start and dangling finish activity. Also make sure one, one thing you should make sure that there should be no milestone while you using that tool. I will show you where is the tool because on the milestone there have only some few relationship types. So whenever you will see here an activity having a start milestone, it have only two relationships, start to start and start to finish. And when we have a finish milestone, we have only finish to finish and start to finish relationship. So these are fixed relationships. So we, we cannot assign different type of relationship to that one. I will show you where you find the tool. So here I will open my Chrome and in my Chrome browser, I will go to my site softydemy.com. So you can also visit from Google also. You can also contact with us through our WhatsApp number and you can write any SMS here and you can link your WhatsApp web. Also, we have a tool comparison report XDR tool, comparison dashboard XDR tool, schedule analyzer XDR tool. I have given the link of the description of these uh, tools in the description of this video. I will go in the blog. I have given the blog link also in the description of this video. I will go directly to the detecting and fixing dangling activity in Primavera P6 time schedule. I will go down here to download this one as I have explained in my video that uh, what are the start dangling. Did you see here that this have a start dangling and we have resolved this one. This have a finished dangling. You can see this is open ended. So here we will see where is a tool and here is dangling activities detected tool. I will open this one. The tool will be downloaded and we can see in the show in the folder right click here and we will extract to the file and now we'll open and first of all we will remove the macros unblock apply ok and here we open the tool. Now first of all we have to do this one steps and we have to export the file export the file into xlsx format and then activities relationship and then activity relationship and then we have to export file next you have to create a new here add here i have already created here and i will just modify this you have to create new one so i will say it that dangling this one is dangling template so in dangling template you have to add here uh, first of all predecessor successor relationship type predecessor activity status successor activity status relationship activity name uh, successor activity name so I will press OK. Next, I will paste that one on desktop. Finish this one. So this project have been exported now. I will go here and open my relationships here. So these are my relationship which I have exported. Now I will just copy this one all and paste into my tool. Here is my tool and I will just go here and paste this one. Now I will apply the detect. The first step is detect dangling. So now when I apply on detect dangling, so it will take some time and it will detect your dangling start activities and dangling finish activities. Within some seconds, it will just go and find out. So it have found it that activity B and activity E, as I told you here, activity E, and activity B. So these activity B1 and e, E1 have been resolved. It, there is no dangling in it. So now I have seen this one. Now the next step is linking dangling. So when I click on linking dangling, it will uh, link and create some new relationship for that one. So we'll take some time to take all the steps. Now linking dangling have been finished now. So here you can see here the new link have been created. I will just remove that one uh, finish milestones and this one milestone do not need to be added because milestone I told you that these have a limited relationship. So here we have 20 uh, rows here and 20 up to 20. Now you will see here 21 and 22 will be added here and add new links here. When you add new links, so you will see here, there are two new link will be added here. So after adding this one, you have to just copy this one 
and paste into the sheet this one sheet which you have already exported so whenever you export this one this is added now control save and close the file now what we will do you will see here the new relationship will be added here i will go here in the file import and as xlsx file the file is on desktop and i will find out the file relationship open next and activity relationship next and i will import to the file and update existing do not forget to select this one then press finish close you have seen a new relationship have been assigned here so you will you will see here also a new relationship will have been assigned here also so whenever you press so you will see here the dangling have been finished with this activity and this activity have been assigned also you have, you will see here if i increase the duration here so you, this activity will be also move with it the critical path have been created here did you see here now also if i assign 10 here so you will see here the critical path have been created also here so this is my today's content about uh, detecting dangling activities in prama vira p6 uh, by the tool which i have used in my video thanks for watching software demi so this is our today's content about detecting dangling activities in primavera p6 by using dangling activity detector tool you can contact us through our whatsapp number and our email address given in the description of this video and you can suggest in the comments that what the topic you want to be uh, a new topic for learning thanks for watching we will meet in the next video